everyone, it's Christine Stitch All The Things. Welcome to my channel today. Um, today is Saturday, April 4th, and I'm gonna get right into it because I have a lot to talk about today. Um, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on the video today and um, seeing if my videos are something you like. Uh, typically, I do my videos vlog style, but this week it's a one and done because I didn't record at all this past week, obviously. Um, I took the time, if you're if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back and spending some time with me today. Um, for the regular viewers, you know I have lamented often that I don't have a lot of time to sew for myself. I was sewing bags for a long, long time, only sewing bags, and I was looking forward to getting some sewing time for me. And um, the mister and I, um, we had some plans for summer um, and late spring that obviously plans are canceled. Um, but part of that was to stop sewing bags as we got some other events going on. And uh, when the world pretty much came to a halt, he said, keep with the plan as far as don't sew bags, craft, create, so do for yourself. And I took the whole, this whole past week to do exactly that. Um, I've hardly responded to any correspondence at all. Um, email messages, I pretty much blocked out a lot of external things and just created this week and I loved it. Of course, now I'm really, 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 really extra far behind on comments and messages and stuff, but I had a great week creating and I loved it. Um, and I'm probably gonna have another one this week. I, I'm gonna have to carve out a couple days to just focus on comments and responding to people, but it was just one of those weeks where I just, I, I any external things I just, just mentally didn't wanna have to handle, to be quite frank. Um, so anyway, because I didn't uh, record throughout the week, that means I didn't do daily positive readings. Um, April 1st did get done on the live Stitch With Me. So um, I'm going to intersperse throughout this video. I have quite a few things. actually made a list. Big list. goes all the way to the bottom um, of what I want to talk about. And I'm going to intersperse the quotes throughout the video. Um, I think these positive quotes are more... are in really important now more so than ever um, so I, I really want to share them and this is from the book a year of positive thinking by Cindy Spiegel um, the link is, to this is in the description box below if you're new I put links to pretty much everything I talk about in the description box below if I forget say something in the comments and I will get back to you but um, I always have all the information in the description box below so that people don't have to ask me, where did you get, where can I find? If you have a question like that, check the description box before you ask me in the comments because pretty much guarantee it's there. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to March, Monday, March 30th um, for the quotes because that's the last one I, that's, yeah, the last one you guys heard from me before April 1st specific day because stitch with me was the the um, 29th of March so March 30th says dare to be powerful this is a quote from Audre Lorde the cancer journals it says when I dare to be powerful to use my strength in the service of my vision then it becomes less and less important whether I am afraid Okay, so the first thing I have on my list to talk about is a finish. Um, if you saw, oh no, I just rolled my chair on it. <laughs> if you saw my Instagram, you know that I finished Francis Poole 1832. I love this sampler so much. Uh, this sampler was so much fun to stitch. I think it was like, had to be 20, 21 days. Between 21 and 28 days, I'm gonna say total stitching time, but I think closer to 21 days at like three hours a night of stitching. So 
and just beautiful. I love Francis. I'm going to try to get Francis as close as I can so you can see all of it. And I have to kind of peek so I can see what the camera is seeing. And she's so pretty. And then down at the bottom, I did a signature line. It just says, stitched by my entire name, Christine Michelle Slaughter, Lake Havasu City, Arizona. I'll see if I can get in closer. There we go. Hopefully I didn't misspell anything. I looked again um, before I took it off the scroll rods um, and completed March 30th, 2020. She's so pretty. I love her. Um, so uh, when the world goes back to work, I suppose, I will be headed to Hobby Lobby to pick out a frame for her and I'm gonna have them frame it. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have them frame it as opposed to me, I don't know. I'm going to leave her up here because I, I don't really want to keep her on the floor. And so that was Francis Poole, 1832, from with thy needle and thread. Oh, this was stitched one thread over two stitches on 36 count winter moon linen. Um, I always forget to say that, but again, everything is in the description box below. Um, and eventually I will be giving away Francis Poole, but not today because I have lots of giveaways. Maybe, maybe looking at it, maybe next week, Francis Poole can be given away next week. Just the chart. Um, and that, that's Francis. I'm so excited for that finish. Um, so before I go on to the next thing, let's read the March 31st quote of the day. And it says, an exercise for gratitude. This one, I need my glasses because the print is smaller. Instead of focusing on what you don't have, consider what you do have. Pull out a piece of paper and write a gratitude list. Start with this simple prompt. I am grateful for. Do not judge your list or criticize your entries. Simply write whatever comes to mind. Write until you've exhausted everything you can think of, big and small. When you're done, tape your list to a prominent wall. Share it with the people you love. Take a picture of it and save it as the background on your phone or your computer. Watch your list grow. Focusing on what you already have creates the space to bring even more into your life. Remember, what you choose to focus on is what grows. Okay, so next up, um, I'm going to talk about the whips I worked on this week. Uh, one of the first things I, well, I worked on this with the, uh, the Stitch With Me I recorded. Um, I don't want to say first, one of the first, that's a weird way to start this. But I worked on this embroidery piece. Um, it's called High Noon. It's an embroidery um, stitch club from Cozy Blue Handmade. I think her name is right. Yep, Cozy Blue Stitch Club and the website, CozyBlueHandmade.com. This was the February um, embroidery kit that was sent out. I think, I think April's is in the mail today. Maybe if it's not in today's mail, it will be in Monday's mail. But um, I've been working on this and I had gotten probably to about here. I did a, a stitch with me. Um and finish some of this and then I did a video chat uh, with a couple really dear friends um, and then got to stitching up here and the one thing I did um, really simple stitch to do and uh, uh, first time doing it was a whipped back stitch so basically I back stitched like all these leaves I back stitched this the vine they're all attached to and then I took my thread once I got to the end and then just wrapped it all the way around all of the stitches. I'll see if I can get in close. And so it makes the vine line stand out just a little bit more. I don't know how well I'm trying to just go along and see how well you can see that. And that was that was a lot of fun to do that. It really gave it some great dimension. See if I can just hold still for a minute. And um, just popped out that vine line uh, really nice. That was fun. 
It's amazing. Little things, little simple things you can do with your stitching, embroidery, and just give something a completely different look. Um, one of these days I'll get this finished and start on the March one, which will be nice. I'm curious as to what the April one looks like. You guys will get to see that next week. Um, okay, the other thing I started, I pulled back out, excuse me, I pulled back out. Um, I'm trying to see where the top is. Here it is. Uh, it's hard to tell unless you're looking at some of the small stuff. Um, Julie is very happy to know that my Chatelaine Poison Garden came back out. So this is a picture of it. And I am working on these corners right here in, in this square. You'll see in a minute. And so I had only one corner done when I started earlier this week. My, this is huge. I had these on 32 inch roller frame rods and the end bars are 15 inches. So 32 inch rods, 15 inch end bars. It's kind of a pain. I, when I had originally done it, done it, when I had originally chosen this setup, I was only supposed to be working on this half here. Um, so from here all the way up would have fit right in here. And then my intention was to roll it all up with a piece of batting here and then the, the bottom half would fit all in this. It didn't end up working that way because I started right in the middle and then just kept going out. Um, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I'm probably gonna put these on smaller end bars because these end bars, every time I flip over my work, they I have to pull this out so it doesn't hit the arm of the couch, flip it over, get it back set right, and then put it back. It's just a pain. So the end bars are just too big for me. But um, I had, this corner was already done. So I worked on this one. And in this corner, if you can, if it'll, if it will focus, that would be amazing. It's having a hard time. Let's see if I can get in. There we go. At the beginning of each corner are just some regular stitches to here. And then these are, these are two rice stitches that are the same. Then here is five different or five rice stitches, different style then uh, three rice stitches that are different from the others, a whole series of rice stitches right here. I, the colors are all different, the style is all different, and all of those are in the instructions. Um, and then the rice stitches continue up this way, and then you're back to regular stitching. And then there is some overlay stitching with uh, some petite treasure braid there, and then there's beads. Um, also, there's some cross stitches in a petite treasure braid right in between all of the rice stitches, basically that middle center row all the way down. Um, so now, today and tomorrow, um, I'm after the video stuff is all done, I'm going to be focusing on these. I was doing one corner at a time and I decided I'd like to just, I, I'd like to be done with this because I'm, I'm tired of doing, uh, I'm already just tired of all the work in this little tiny corner. I mean, I shouldn't be tired of it. This is how a Chatelaine is. This is, this is how they do. <laughs> this is what it is. But um, there's, in these stitches here, there's one, is there two different? There's three different, three different colors just in the cross stitching up to here. So I just decided, Get the stitching done in the you know these one this one color get it done here 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 and here then go to the second one and then i'm just done with those colors you know what i mean so um yeah last night i did some of the uh the border stitching right here the outlines and then i got that color green done there i'll show you up close um so I've got to get this darker green done in here and then get the other colors done. I don't know that I'll get to the rice stitching tonight. I hope so, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, actually, no, I'm, I'm hoping to get a lot more done than that. We'll see how long it takes me to edit the video today. But today, tomorrow, I'm just going to stitch 
all day, all evening. That's that's the plan. This weekend, just stitching. Um, okay, other whip was sewing whip. Some of you may know I have been working on the Quiet Play uh, 2020 Pattern Club. We've uh, this is a fantastic club, um, and for this year, I need all of these. I've been um, I signed up for it and hadn't done Jan I hadn't done any of the blocks until I think a, two weeks ago I started sewing on this and I just thought I want to get caught up. She releases two blocks every month for this quilt. This is actually a quilt top and um, she releases also an extra block um, from her archives um, and and I've I've loved everything I've gotten. So I did the rainbow. You could see the rainbow is right here. I did the rainbow, with, and that's two two blocks um, that make up the one one full rainbow. And then I worked on the word. I was working on the word hope the last time you saw it, and um, I was actually able to finish the word hope. I had these all pinned up back there, um, but I took them down so I can show you. Nope, oh, there's a thread right in the middle of the H. Um, these, I always forget, this is foundation paper piecing. So basically you sew onto paper. Here's an example. And then um, once you've got all the pieces sewn on, you trim it down, you sew the whole block together and you rip out all the little paper pieces on the back. And that's, this is not traditional quilt piecing, not traditional piecing me methods at all, foundation paper piecing. And I, I just love it. They just take so much longer than you expect. You can see all the different seam lines in there, all the different little pieces. Um, it takes me about a day, probably about eight hours to sew one of these up. Uh, and it could just be because I'm not very fast. Um, and I get distracted a lot by private messages and stuff. Um, another one I finished this week was the dragonfly right here. And this one is one of my favorites so far. Of course, other than the the rainbow, this dragonfly is just so pretty. I love it so much. So, so much. I just love the color. It's all the color just makes, oops, makes my day. And then the last one I finished was the word peace. So I finished this dragonfly. I finished the word peace, the rainbow, and the word hope. And here's peace. So pretty. I love it so much. I'm just, and I'm pinning all of these up back here because it makes me happy to see it. I have a, a uh, big piece of batting I can stick up on my uh, closet walls, doors, uh, and normally that gets to be my design wall, but you guys don't get to see it. And right now I think, I think we need to see all these words all the time, <laughs> at least this year anyway. Um, now the other two blocks for, uh, now I don't know if the, these could have been done for March. I can't remember if these, what month, but I'm going to be working on the word grow. That's, this is part of the G right here, actually, that I just showed you. That's the top part of the word G for grow. Um, and the leaves. And I had already started on this red leaf. As a matter of fact, I got half a leaf done. This is what I'm working on right here. And just half a leaf. That's all I got done yesterday. But I'm all ready to go. I mean, I got all my, my pieces are all, they're all cut out and in piles and ready to sew. Um, I was actually thinking of sewing them this weekend, but thought, no, take this weekend, just stitch. And so that's what I'm going to do. So those are the whips I worked on this week. Absolutely love them. Super excited to get this done. The next pattern releases um, for the Quiet Play 2020 Pattern Club on the 7th. So um, I, I, I don't know that these will be done by then. I hope so. Um, I hope I can finish, if anything, I'll be finishing or working on the word grow the day those patterns release. And then I'll be able to um, get ca all caught up on the, that, um, the 2020 Pattern Club 
this coming week and then I can start working on my buttermilk basin blocks of the month because I'm a couple months behind on that. Um, I'm, I'm just excited. I'm just excited just to be sewing and actually working on things I subscribe to because I have a really bad habit of being like, oh, I want, I want to do that. I want to subscribe to that club or whatever. And then I get the club pieces and I never stitch them up. Um, that's a problem for me. And so I'm really happy this year to be buying these and making them mostly as they come in. Okay, so let's do the April 2nd reading. I'm skipping April 1st because I already read it on the Stitch With Me video on Wednesday. So April 2nd says how to overcome. You overcome by accepting that there is no alternative except to pick yourself up, dust off, and continue moving forward. You don't give up or give in even on the days you want to because you know your life matters. Overcoming adversity is what makes you resilient and resiliency is what allows you to wake up each day with a sense of purpose, regardless of what you were experiencing. It teaches you that the fragility of your experience is not a curse and it offers a greater vision of renewed possibility. Okay, so next I was gonna talk about some purchases I made. Okay, this was a purchase that I attempted to make before my purchase was refunded because I, I got a, uh, a kind, um, I don't even know what to call it, the friends and family discount. I just got a really kind person on the other end who said, nope, you're not paying for these, I'm sending them to you. Um, and we all know it's Ed. We already knew it was Ed already, didn't we? Uh, let me see if this will focus. Look at this butterfly. Okay, now y'all know me and my butterflies, right? So when I saw this thread keep and even the design of it, I had to have it. I saw this in Ed's shop and I was like, that's mine, I need it. So I ordered this and I love that he is putting on the back of his pieces, his, his um, um, company name and his Gmail. I love it, love it, love it. And then the other one, I saw this and I had to have it because one, hummingbirds, I love birds, and two, me and mister. I'm extra shaky today, guys. Sorry. Isn't it so pretty? I love it so much. And then, I love it. Now, if you want to get your own wood thread keeps, um, Ed Shop is on Etsy and you can get 10% off if you use my special code for you guys. Christine 10, all caps, C-H-R-I-S-T-I-N-E, like the car. Um, and the number 10. And that gets you 10%. Everything in his shop ships free. So free shipping, 10% off, thread keeps. Amazing, right? I love these so much. And I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for some of his thread keeps at the end, so don't go away. Um, Ed, Thank you so much. Your heart is just the biggest heart, kindest heart. Robin, you got a winner there. So thank you so much. Give each other hugs for me. I, I'm just so grateful, so grateful for you guys. Um, I ended up meeting Robin. She messaged me and said, hey, I was gonna be in Havasu. Next time I'm there, would you like to get together for coffee and meet? Um, and, and I'm pretty sure that was way outside her comfort zone. Um, and I was like, yeah, absolutely. Let me know when you're here. This is something I wasn't really comfortable doing before, but now I'm, I'm much more comfortable at meeting people, um, in real life. Uh, and so we got to meet she, and she's the, she brought me those huge, huge thread keeps that are supposed to be hanging up, but I've been doing other things like sewing and whatnot, instead of actually doing what I should be doing and hanging up Ed's thread keeps. Um, but I, I didn't get to meet Ed because he, he was like, we'll just let the women's go meet and talk. Um, Brad happened to stop by, but he was really letting us, the women's meet and talk. Um, but it turned out that Ed and Brad would have been better off to meet because they have a lot in common. Um, and so now we're really looking forward to when we're able to all leave the house and they can come to Havasu or 
something before maybe before we go anywhere if we go anywhere this year and um and meet and i'm looking forward to seeing ed in person okay that was my little side thing um, did I say Ed Shop? It's Etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash Brown X, the letter X to the number two creations. And I will have the link below. Coupon code two, Christine 10, all caps. All right. I ordered from 123 Stitch. I ordered from 123 Stitch because I, I wanted to get some fabric pieces and I realized that one of the most favorite things I was looking forward to from market, I didn't pre-order from anyone. The queen that was from Ink Circles. Oh, let's see. I'm really struggling lately with this camera. And every time I say I'm struggling, it's, it starts to behave. All right, this is the queen that was from Ink Circles. I love this chart so much. So I realized you didn't order the chart, so why don't you order the chart? I ordered the flosses. I pre-ordered the flosses for this chart, not the chart. Weird. And I did get the Mystic fabric that was called for, for the chart, uh, 32 count. This, this fabric is really, really pretty. And you probably can't see how wonderful it is, but it's really like this sticker is right over the prettiest part. Prettiest part in my in my world. Nowhere there. Let me stick that sticker right there. I love it. I'm not looking forward to sticking on the st sticking stitching, sticking stitching. Same thing, right? On the dark fabric, because the last time I tried on a fabric that was about this dark. I couldn't see the holes, but I'm determined the chart is small. It's only like 50, 60 by 60. Yeah, it's only 60 by 60. So I can manage. And I had pre-ordered all of the flosses. So I've got all the flosses right here. It actually calls for Krynik. And I was like, no, thank you. Um, but I have some. I'm, I'm, I'm. <laughs> I'm stuttering. I'm trying to find everything. What did I do with it? I just had it. I, I don't know. It's got to be here somewhere. I have petite treasure braid to go with this. I can't show you because I don't know where I put the whole thing in petite treasure braid. But these are the flosses. I'm still looking for the petite treasure braid. Because I need to have it. I must have, I, I don't, I don't know. I do not know what I did with it. It's somewhere here. I just moved it around not long ago. Anyway, these are all of the flosses to go on this. And the crown is what is supposed to be in the petite treasure braid that I can no longer find right up here. So I do have it and I will be stitching. I was going to start this really soon and get like whip this out and get it done and finished. I don't know if that's going to happen. I ended up agreeing to, <laughs> I didn't realize I had done this. My planning is not right. Oh, found it. It got shoved way back, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. I should edit this all out so I don't look like... What is it the Weasley say? Bumbling, whatever, batch of baboons. You know, McGonagall says that. Why can't I think of that right now? I just watched that the other day. And they're all, I'll say that five times fast. Uh, anyway, that's how I'm feeling right now. It's all right, though. It's all right. Now I get to show you. And the, the light, there we go. It's going to be so pretty. All right. I'm happy that I found that now. Probably should have had a project bag nearby to pop that into, but I don't. The other thing I bought from 123 Stitch was some 32 count sand linen from Picture This Plus. And this one is for ink circles after the roses, which I really want to start soon. I actually need to order flosses from Margaret. Um, 
I'm going to place an order with Margaret today so that I can get this started. Um, uh, something I was starting to say a little while ago and got sidetracked on was I ended up agreeing to do two different stitch alongs and I'd forgotten that I agreed to one of them that starts in May and the another one starts in May. So um, any of, uh, but I'm excited about both of these stitch alongs. Um, super, super excited. So all of my May stitching has been planned. Um, no mania starts because I'm going to be working on these. And I really wanted to start the queen that was and after the roses. Um, yeah, but I'm going to be working on these stitch alongs. If I can focus on getting them done and stitched, um, one of them is a weekly stitch along. And the other one is a release once a month. And I'll be talking about them shortly um, in more detail. I don't, I don't know that I'm going to have time to stitch on anything but these stitch alongs. Uh, anyway, I, I need to move along. I'm at 30 minutes. Okay, but I'm doing pretty good, actually, given everything I had on my list. I'm, I'm way over halfway done on the list. Another thing I bought, um, this was in my I'm shopping online moods and when I shouldn't be shopping and looking for things I don't need to buy and buying them because... I don't know, stuck at home. There's no reason, good reason why I should buy this, except it made me so happy. And now that I have it, I'm glad I did. Okay, I was on the Happy Planner website and I was looking through their notebooks. Happy notes. This notebook is Radiate Positivity and it is Be Happy Today. And these are basically, I do really well with prompted journals. I don't do really well just trying to come up with my own thoughts, journaling my own thoughts for the day. Uh, and that is a story from my childhood, probably best saved for another day. But basically, um, there came a point when I got in trouble for having a diary and diaries were no longer allowed in our home. And it was a really traumatic thing for me. And so um, writing my own thoughts down is there's always a block there. And then I saw this and I was like, I need this. I need, you know, my word for the year is positive, positivity. I'm always trying to share a positive thought every day. Like I'm really trying to radiate that. And when the, when I saw the theme is radiate positivity for this, I just, was everything and of course rainbow right like that's the inside cover we don't need that paper rainbow is my fave color yeah I'm gonna do a really quick flip through and then as I go up throughout the the daily videos I'm probably gonna share a few of the questions so that if you guys want the prompt and it helps you for your day um, you'll have them you'll have a whole week's worth of prompts in one video um, and, and maybe this will help you guys as we're struggling to get through this time. Okay. So, um, at, at the back of the, the, not the back, but just happens to be the back of this one, there is a weekly sheet. So you get to say, this is your week of, I'm starting this tomorrow. So for me, it'll be week of April 5th, um, this week's mantra. So manifest all the positivity, uh, flowing through you. That's your, your mantra part. And then what can you do to love others this week? And then there's a place for, there's three bullets. I, I can't see. So, and then write to, I am statements that make you feel encouraged. What things make you happiest? Like make you want to dance kind of happy. How can you incorporate at least two of those things in your week? And three things I want to accomplish this week and you will, you've got this. Okay, so you start off the week getting your, you setting yourself up for positiveness, right? Positivity. Um, then there's a little note section. You're setting yourself up for completing your goals for the week. I just love it. And then every day has the same prompt at the top. So what was the best thing that happened today is always the same for every single day. This next section is different. This one is what inspires you to be a better person and why? And then it says, never be ashamed of your story. It will inspire others. 
So you've got this whole section there for that. And then um, I think every single day may be the same with this question. Yes. So the third question is always the same. What's one thing you can do today to be more connected to joy? And then the fourth question is different every single day. Something I found beautiful today. And then the fifth, the fifth prompt, I should say, call them prompts, are different. What are some ways you can spread happiness? Give three examples. So I will quickly read the rest of the, the second, uh, second, fourth, and fifth questions. Uh, so if you're wanting to do these daily, take notes. Second day's uh, different questions. Uh, second question, one thing I'm grateful for in my life. Small things, big things, and everything in between. Uh, fourth question, something that made me laugh today. And fifth question, what are two changes you're excited about? Day three, second question, what is something you are doing well? Give yourself a high five. Third, no, fourth question, one thing I absolutely loved about today. Fifth question, list three songs that make you feel happy. Now go jam out. Uh, the fourth day, sorry, holding that up is getting a little hard. Uh, write down, second question, write down three things that you love about yourself. Fourth question, yeah, fourth question, something that made me smile today. And fifth, actually, these are prompts. I keep saying question, replace that with prompt. Fifth prompt, list four things that make you feel comforted, inspired, present, and just plain good. And this is how that prompt looks. All right, one, two, three, four, that was day four, day five. Second prompt, what does happiness look like to you today? Prompt four, something I was grateful for today. Prompt five, what are three things in your life you're very positive about? Day six, what was the, no. I almost read the first question. Prompt two, write down your big ideas and dreams. Prompt four, something I was passionate about today. Prompt five, what are two small ways you can help others? And day seven, I'm pretty sure that was seven. I'm, I'm saying numbers and you know me, I'm numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, yes, seven. Prompt two, what did you do today to keep a positive outlook? A positive attitude leads to positive outcomes. Prompt four, something I was fortunate for today. Prompt five, list three activities that make you feel happiest. And all the weeks repeat. This journal actually has 16 weeks of prompts. Um, and remember, again, the first and third prompts are always the same. The first prompt, what was the best thing that happened today? The third prompt, what's one thing you can do today to be more connected to joy? Um, so if those give you ideas for, for helping stay more positive right now through this time, um, I, I hope, I hope you enjoy that and I'll have a link to this below. Um, I don't, there's no coupon code or any like referral thing for that. Um, it just... I loved it and I, I'm excited to sit down tonight and write about what I want for this coming week and then tomorrow to start writing in this. Have a more positive mindset as I get through every day because I do tend to go negative and I'm trying really, really hard, working really hard this year to not be that way. Okay, so those are purchases. Let's read April 3rd. You are. It takes courage to be your true self, vulnerability to allow others to see you, and wisdom to know that, regardless of what life tosses your way, you are enough. You are courageous. You are vulnerable. You are wise. You are enough. Okay, I received some thank yous in the mail this week and some stitchy kindness and I just wanted to share them. Look at this card. How cute is that? 
Um, and and that was from Nikki. Uh, Nikki, thank you so much. You guys don't need to send me thank yous at all. I'm appreciative that you do, uh, but they are not necessary. Uh, but but know that I'm grateful that that you took time out of your day to send me a positive thought, a note. Um, and and I've received some positive um, messages lately, a few messages that were like, I just want to share some positive thing to help, help brighten your day. I really, really appreciate those. Please know that. I'm not going to say names because I don't want to front people off. Um, I received this amazing card um, in the mail as a thank you. Look at this. Look at this origami. What? I, I had no words. When I opened this up, I squealed like a five-year-old getting a big bag of candy. I, it was just... It's so amazing. It's so, so amazing. I'm just going to set it up there later and just let it sit like this. Um, and then as a thank you, um, this is all from Mary. Mary S. I, I didn't ask permission to share her last name. She also sent me a kit. This kit, y'all, is amazing. When I got this in the mail, I, at first I didn't understand what it was. It was just this pattern and a whole bunch of stuff shoved, not shoved, but stuck in the back. By the way, this was a thank you and a gift sent from Abby, Top Knot Stitcher Shop. I loved it. I loved it so much. Abby packaged up everything well. And when I say shoved in the bag, I just mean the, the pattern bag was full with this everything. But I got this No Bodies Home kit. Okay. And I was looking at this. I'm like, oh, I wonder what that is. The needle roll or something. It's amazing. I got all of the floss for it. And it uses Sullivan's. I've never used Sullivan's. So I have all of the Sullivan's floss. I have the fabric, this fabric. This fabric is not even coming up how, how it is. This fabric is bright, bright green, like chartreuse bright green. Yeah, this, it, it's not even, it's way washed out. It is amazing. All right, I gotta, I gotta show pictures before I show you the rest. It is a needle roll and it is the most amazing thing. So here it is completely opened up. I got all of the beads for it, the, the floss of course to make the ties, and this is the inside. The charms, I've got that inside fabric, the scissors, everything is in this kit, everything. Here's amazing everything to make it the interfacing I got interfacing interfacing I got some stitch witchery that's required some felt felt wool felt or just felt I don't know some purple lame because it needs to go in there even the snap oh wait that's the stitch witchery the fabric I mean everything is in here scissors All the beads, the pins, and in here are the, the charms. I don't know how well you can see them. Probably not very well. No, everything's all. And needles even. Beading needles. All the needles. I, everything in this kit. And I sat there, like I stopped everything I was doing, and I completely read through all of the instructions. Oh, two pieces of fabric. I didn't notice the two. Um, I read through everything to see how to make this, um, how you stitch it, how it gets made, put together, uh, and before I did anything, like I had to completely understand the entire process before I could move on and go back to working on what I was working on. And this gift, it was, it said that if I, you know, if I wasn't really interested in stitching this or making it, I could pass it on. And I was like, no, thank you. <laughs> I so appreciate this gift. It is amazing. Thank you so much. This fabric is everything. As bright green as these bats are, that is how bright green the fabric is. I mean, definitely chartreuse. And the, the instructions, 
in the, this kit are incredible. They are very well written. I completely understood everything. So if you're looking at this pattern and wondering, could you make this with the kit? Um, the answer is yes. It is very well written. Uh, I was really impressed with that. There's no guessing on how to do things at all. Um, yeah, I'm excited. So this is actually, I've decided this is going to be my dark October stitching. This whole thing, this is all I'm going to be working on for dark October this year is to try to get this kit done. I'm excited. Very excited. I had other dark October stitching plans, but this just bumped everything. Um, I have another kit that was loaned to me or a pattern that was loaned to me my, um, from Tina. Um, and I, I need to get that done. It was, it was given to me the Ort, the Just Nan Ort Keeper, um, Trick or Treat Ort box. And that's an out of print thing. Like you can buy it on eBay for like $300 if you want. But um, she sent me the pattern and I need to get that done because then I get to pass it on to the next person. Anyway, thank you. Both of you, thank you, Nikki, for the thank you card. Thank you, um, Mary, so much for the thank you card and, and the kit. Um, Mary, I had done, she'd, she'd asked if she could purchase something from me, and I told her, I'm, I'm going to make these and just send them to you, and that was her thank you gift. It was just incredible. So generous, so kind. Thank you so much, Mary. Um, okay, I'm going to read April 4th. We're going to do giveaways and then we're, we're going to do April 5th reading and we're going to be done. And so let's get, let's get going because I'm at 46 minutes. Okay. April 4th, an exercise in what if, what if you stopped looking for others to be benchmarks for your own happiness? What if you considered yourself a visionary, a dreamer, a hero? What if, just for today, you knew you were worthy of all that you wanted? What would happen if you stopped comparing yourself to others and became your own measure for success? Who would you be in the world if you believed that to be true? Perhaps, just for today, become that person. Okay, giveaways. This is going to be kind of a big segment. Um, first off, Last week's giveaway winner of the 5x7 rectangular um, thread keep from Ed was Tattletales and Pop-Tarts, and you still haven't contacted me. So you've got another week to contact me. If I don't hear from you this week, then next week I will be redrawing for this, this um, particular thread keep. So make sure you message me. If you know who Pop-Tarts or Tattletales and Pop-Tarts is, please, Please message that person. I don't know who that is. Um, maybe I should, but I don't. Uh, message them and let them know. They need to contact me. Christine.stitchallthethings at gmail.com. Um, this week's giveaway drawing is for the smile or the sampler heart uh, pattern and flosses. This was sent as a freebie to me. The whole thing from Trish of Threads Entwined. Before I go on, I wanna make note that Trish has a special coupon code for my viewers for 15% off your purchase until the end of May. And the code is lowercase, all the things and the number 15. I will have it in the description box below. But if you're looking to purchase some stuff, 15% off at Threads Entwined, courtesy of Trish, um, just because you're watching the channel and She's amazing and she has the biggest heart and she sent me this and I, because I'd already purchased one, I'm sharing this and using Trish's kindness as a giveaway. Thank you to Trish. Um, so the keyword for this one was heart and then the other giveaway I had was from Ed's shop. Remember, Christine Ten coupon code for 10% off all of his and this is what I'm giving away. Um, this is what was up for the giveaway last week. I think yes <laughs> this is the one the one with the rose and the keyword for this was smile because he's got a big old smile on his face all right so I didn't set my phone up so I'm going to do that really quickly 
Okay, so I just got the video, the video uh, link in here, and we're gonna do the heart giveaway first. So all you had to do was put in your comment the word heart. So let's get YouTube comments. That's weird. It just said this video has comments disabled. This means we can't get any comments from this video. The comments are not disabled. People just left a comment earlier today. Uh, let me go back to the video and see what, no, that's the right one. Copy link, going back, putting the link back in. Get YouTube comments. <sighs> Please enable comments again to do the wrap. Comments are enabled. Hold, please. I just got to show you. It says right there, allow comments. That's on. I don't know what's going on. All right, I'm going to have to do this the old fashioned way. <laughs> I'm going to have to go and scroll down. Let me set my computer up differently. Okay. I hope I have it. I just ended up having to go with a different website. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping this works. I'm, I chose pickawinner.co. I've already put in my, um, video link. I just put in heart right there. So now I'm going to continue. It's loading the comments 74. Yay. Pick a winner. And it's Cindy O'Brien. Oh, I love it. And I have Cindy's. So Cindy, you get the sampler heart chart. This, this will be popped in the mail to you. Um, I have her address is what I meant to say. Okay, so now let's go back and um, I gotta go back completely, I guess. And now it just shut down on me. I'm not, not doing well today. Um, I had to change the keyword and it wasn't letting me change the keyword. All right, so now um, keyword is going to be smile. Smile is for the uh, wooden thread keeps. As you can tell, I'm a little frazzled right now. We're going to be doing the small, the three by five oval first. Uh, I've got smile in there and uh, 54 comments for that. I don't know if you can see it. You can see all my stuff in the back. There we go. Pick a winner. Sylvia. Sylvia says, your videos make me smile and hearing the positive quotes that you always read as well as the family cat candy. Um, so Sylvia, send me a message. I don't have your email, I don't think, or email address. Um, and I'm gonna write your name down while I'm thinking about it. You get the, the three by five email. You get the three by five oval. Okay, the four by six oval is next. And I'm gonna pick a winner. And Pam, Pam Rosenberry. She says, I so enjoyed the live feeds and daily chats. My cats continue to make me smile, even when all else is crazy. I'd like to stitch the heart. I love those colors. You always brighten my day. Thank you, Pam. I'm so excited. Pam was um, joined me on the live feed every day too. That was fantastic. Okay, and so for the Four by six, did I say that was the four by six oval? I think I said five by seven, four by six. Four by six rectangle. I gotta close out Pam's. We're gonna pick another winner. Kara Dayhoff, I hope I said your name right. Uh, it says congrats to the winners of the other giveaway. Uh, smile, my three-year-old granddaughter singing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. It just fills my heart with joy. I love it. Okay, so Kara, you also send me an email, christine.stitchallthethings at gmail.com. I gotta write Kara. Pam, I, I am pretty sure I'm friends with on Facebook, so I will pop a message to you. Um, 
And if you don't hear from me before this video goes up, just send me an email. Um, I, I don't know that I have Pam's address. If I do have your address, Pam, I'll just let you know I popped it in the mail. Okay, so for this week's giveaway, this week is a bit special because I've been super excited to share this. Now, I shared this in some of the live videos. Um, I haven't really talked about it much here. I received some amazing stitchy kindness from Amy and Memory at Barefoot Needle Art. They have a great website. They have tons of great, great charts. I ordered some charts from them um, and they sent an extra one chart for me to give away. They created this amazing anchor. Amy designed this amazing anchor, the Pride Anchor from their Anchor series. And she dedicated it to me. The whole story for this is in the, um, the Stitcher's Coven Facebook group. I can't really share too much about it here. Some of it is not my story to really share publicly yet, but I did in that group because it was a safe place to share. So if you're in that group, you already know. Um, they dedicated this pattern to me. It's just the whole thing is so amazing, so wonderful. It just fills my heart with so much joy and love. And they also made this amazing needle minder. Now I ordered this needle minder for myself. This is a different one. And I ordered this cross stitch pattern for myself as well as a patriotic one because hello, they've got a great anchor series. I absolutely love it. But they sent an extra pattern and an extra needle minder for me to give away on the channel as well. And so that's this week's giveaway. Part of it is going to be this needle minder and this anchor. So anywhere in your comment to be entered in this one, you need to be 18. Don't say giveaway in the comments. I will ship anywhere except I will note some just because of the current world state. Some countries are not, uh, we're, the US is not sending mail to some countries right now because those countries mail service is not, is not running right now. If you happen to be in one of those affected countries that we are not shipping mail to, I will hold this for you indefinitely until mail gets up and running again. Uh, but just, just note that, that if you enter this and if you're in an international company that we are currently not sending mail to, you're going to have to wait probably a while, at least till your mail gets going and our mail gets going again to your country. So you know what I'm saying? So to enter, all you need to have is somewhere in your sentence, the word pride. That's it. That will enter you in for this. And be sure and check out Amy and Memory Shop too. Uh, they've got tons of great patterns. And these patterns also come in PDF as well. I just have to show you, they made me a gift. I put them on my rainbow scissors because I love these scissors so much. Um, these are my Tula Pink little snips. Um, they're like the three inch, I think, or two inch. I can't remember. And then they made me this scissor fob. How amazing is that? The little anchor on the bottom. I love it. Those women, they're just, they're so amazing. Such generous hearts. Um, okay. And then this week's giveaway is for this sugar skull. And I love it so much. So for this week, um, just have somewhere in your comment, um, what do I want? I don't know. Hmm. Grateful. Just tell me something you're grateful for this week. So grateful for entering these. You can enter both. That's fine. Um, and I'll be drawing for these next week. And that is it. That was stressful. I, you should have seen me on this end. I, I, I set up the computer several different ways, trying to get that one website to work, trying to have the browse. It was just a mess. And then finally decided, why don't you just find a different website? And was like, Oh, hello, genius. Okay. All right. So let's read Sunday, April 5th. Since you're watching this on Sunday, even though I'm recording it on Saturday, let's read the April 5th positive thought, and I'm going to wrap this video up. April 5th says, the title is, I'm sorry, friend. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for whatever happened to you that made you feel less than 
I am sorry. You don't deserve that. Sometimes there is no other answer. And in those moments, a tiny bit of empathy and a lot of love go a very long way. Don't forget to say I'm sorry to yourself too, as much as you need to. The greatest forgiveness is the forgiveness you show yourself. Thank you so much for joining me this week. I know I crammed a lot into this video uh, and I know I'm sharing a lot more than just stitchy stuff. Um, if you're new to my channel, Floss Tube is the name, Cross Stitch is the game. However, a lot of us cross stitchers are multi craftual and craftual. And, um, and that shows up in my videos. I share a lot of my life stuff. Um, this week, a lot of quilting, sewing, but a big theme for me for the year is positivity. And I'm trying to put that out as much as I can. Radiate positivity. The, the theme of the journal is the goal for me, um, just to change my own mindset, just to help put that out there. I know I see so much anxiety, nervousness, upset. Uh, it's just an uncertain time for so many of us. And if I can just spread a little bit of positivity, a little bit of joy, uh, I just feel led to do that right now. And so m my videos have a lot of extra stuff in them. If that's not your thing, if you're just here for cross stitching and, and you're not really appreciating all the extra, I totally understand. And I know there's a lot of great floss tubers out there who do focus on the stitchy stuff. Um, but this is me. This is how I live my life. And I share that honestly and frankly with you guys. And so for many of you that keep coming back um, and telling me that you appreciate that, thank you. I am so grateful that you're here sharing this journey with me that we just called life and crafting and whatnot. Um, you guys have lifted me up so much and I hope I give you a little bit of that back. So thank you again. If you've been commenting, I know I've not been good about that at all. And I've said that over and over for probably about a month. I am far, far behind. And I hope in order to catch up, um, you'll forgive me if I just leave a heart on your comment and move along. If you guys have questions and I've not answered them, please email me. But if you end up seeing a, um, a heart in response to um, a comment and there really wasn't a question or anything for me to reply to, just know that I, I saw it and I'm thankful and grateful that you guys take the time to leave them. And once I get caught up, hopefully I'll just stay caught up, right? And then I won't have to keep saying this every single week. Um, have a wonderful week. Happy stitching. I will see you on Wednesday if you care to join me for Wellness Wednesday. It will not be live. Um, it will be pre-recorded. I may go live a time or two this week. I'm not sure. It just depends on how the week goes. So um, you guys take care of yourselves. Give yourself some grace, love, forgiveness. All of those things we read, all of the quotes this week were amazing. Um, I loved all of them. I restrained myself from commenting on them. But I wanted to comment on quite a few, but no, I just want you guys to take the message from them that you need to hear without comment from me. Uh, love you guys so much. Thank you again for being here and I'll see you later. Stitch all the things. Bye.